Well, we don't have to uh, tell you that food prices have been increasing quite sharply recently. In fact, the Bureau for Food and Agriculture Policy says there have been an increase of up to 23%. It further says this is far beyond increases in production costs and blames it on the weaker end and power cuts. Well, let's find out more from Tracy Davids from the Bureau who joins me now for this conversation. And thank you so much, Tracy, uh, for your time. You recently uh, conducted or at least uh, released your food inflation brief. What, what have you found in as far as, you know, food inflation or food price inflation and its trace over the past couple of months? Yeah, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Um, I think when one considers food inflation, if you look over the last year, you know, maybe even 18 months, food inflation has been quite high. Um, for the past several months, we've actually seen it come down. Um, it was double digits for several months, and then we saw it fall to around 8%. And then in the last two months now, we've seen it increase just slightly again, which is, of course, a concern. But I think, you know, there's a number of factors that one must consider when you look at that. You know, if in terms of what drives food inflation, there's the cost of, of primary commodities used to manufacture food. There's the actual cost of manufacture. And then there's also the actual cost of, of logistics. You know, mm. so one has to look through the chain. You've got to look at, at, at cost buildup at, at primary agriculture level, where that's left us in, in terms of, of supply of certain commodities, also what the cost is to manufacture the food. You know, if you look at, at, at electricity costs, for instance, the cost of load shedding, um, and then also fuel in terms of, of transportation and logistics, where we've seen inflation on fuel also quite significant.